Hi, this is Ricky Harbour, Senior Training Specialist with Subside Electronics. I'd like to take the next couple of minutes to show you how to perform an update on your integrated display in your JT40. For those of you that are already running the Commander 7 in the 40, this is a real simple update. First of all, you will start by taking a flash drive that is completely empty nothing yet on it. It's very important that there's nothing else included on it. Uh, you want to have a pretty decent flash drive. It doesn't take a large one, a 4 gig, which is about the smallest you can find these days, uh, will be sufficient. Go to the subsite.com website, download the software update, and copy it to the flash drive, making sure that the executable is out on the root drive so that you can, so that the, the uh, display can see it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to update the display, then I'll show you how to update the Cambridge. We'll take our flash drive, and there are two USB ports located inside the JT40 cab. Now, depending on uh, how old your model is, it could either be the left or the right USB port. It doesn't really matter because uh, if you plug it in the wrong one, it will let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in the left one, which should be the USB port for all the current production. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but it just gave me three beeps. That tells me that I have plugged the flash drive into the wrong port. So I'm going to uncover the right USB port and plug it into there. Now you can see the update is taking place. Uh, it switched to the subsite screen. Now we're able to update the software. This process does not take very long, only a couple of minutes. Once we have the display updated using our USB flash drive, we will then update our CAN bridge using our mobile device. Okay, our installation is now complete. I can remove the USB drive as the Commander 7 display reboots. Now that we have our display up to date, I'm going to show you how to utilize Field Scout located on your mobile device to update the CAN bridge. But first, I want to find out what the Bluetooth ID is. And I'm going to go into Menu, select About, and I'm going to look at my Bluetooth name, which on this JT40 is cd dash. 6115. Now I'm going to pull up Field Scout. I'm going to connect. I'm going to select OK. It's going to take me to my Bluetooth settings. I'm going to look for that. Commander Display ID, there it is, 6115, I'm going to select it, I am now paired to it, and if you, you can see the Bluetooth icon on the display, so I'm going to back out of this, go back into Field Scout, I'm going to select 61. 15 gives me all my information on it. I'm going to select now the purple plus button and I'm going to tell it to update. And I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it on here just so that you, so that, uh, you can see the process. Now this will take a 
uh, two to three minutes as well to perform this update. Once we have the Cambridge updated, we're completely finished with updating our display and we'll have the Commander 7 latest update ready to go. Okay, it shows that my install was a success. I am now through with my mobile device as the display reboots and comes back up. It will have the latest uh, software on it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your uh, subsite rep or your subsite product support representative. Thank you for watching.